One of the things that I love about Nepal is that it never ceases to surprise you. Whenever I go out for a walk, there will always be a new courtyard or a new shop or a new beautiful street for me to discover. And today we will be exploring a temple that is more than 400 years old and to be fair, a lot of tourists and a lot of expats, I'm looking at the people around me, my friends, my husband's colleagues, don't know about. Kathmandu is a city full of secret courtyards and alleyways and it is so, so easy to just get lost here, but in a good way. In the middle of these courtyards, you will often find bikes and laundry or kids playing or, or even lentils and chilies drying on large sheets. And they offer a glimpse into the daily life of people here in Kathmandu and Patan. And I think it's just such an, an important thing to witness when you're visiting Nepal. Today we went through some of these amazing alleyways to go to Mahabuddha. The temple of Mahabuddha is a temple that is dedicated to, as you might have guessed, Buddha. Well, more precisely, it is dedicated to Siddhartha Gautama, who was the original Buddha, who was born uh, here in Nepal in Lumbini. It was a priest, a Bayaraj, a member of the Uka Baha Monastery, who initiated the building of this marvelous structure. A Bayaraj sadly never got to see his beautiful temple as he died before it finished in 1601. The design of the Mahabuddha temple was actually inspired by the Mahabodhi temple in India. The Mahabodhi temple is one of the four holy sites related to the life of Lord Buddha. The first temple was built in the 3rd century before Christ and then the current temple dates back to the 5th or the 6th century BC. If you want to visit the Mahabodhi temple today, you would have to go either here or to Bodh Gaya where the original is in India. Abhaya Raj is the priest that built this temple and he went to Mayabodhi and he was so impressed by Mayabodhi that he basically decided to bring that beauty back to his home country, back to Patan, and he decided to build the Mahabuddha temple himself here in uh, Patan. And the legend goes that when visiting Bodh Gaya, Abhaya Raj learned how to melt copper and make copper coins. And this was a very sought after skill at the time. King Amar Mala needed specialists as Kathmandu had a monopoly on minting the coins that were used in Tibet at the time. Although many of the houses here are new, a couple of the newer houses here in the square of the Mahabuddha temple actually belonged to the bronze makers, or at least that is the legend. And the legends also said that some of them still belong to the descendants of Abhayaraj. And to be fair, back in the 16th century, Abhayaraj seemed to be in luck. When he returned to Patan, the king actually installed him as a coin maker. And as you can imagine, the job of a coin maker was a very well paid job, especially since Kathmandu had like the monopoly on making copper coins, uh, the copper coins that were used uh, for trade in Tibet. And that is how he was able to finance one of, I have to say, the most amazing temples in Patan. Apart from its official name, Mahabuddha, the temple is also called the Temple of a Thousand Buddhas, as images and little statues of Buddha can be found all around the temple, from the bottom to the top. And nobody really knows how many Buddhas can be found on the temple, some say a thousand, and others say nine thousand, but the only thing I know is it's a lot of them. If you want to take an educated guess, you can let me know in the comments. And they really did put a lot of work in this temple because a lot of these Buddhas are different depending on where they are in the temple. So the way they look depends on the cardinal points. Another amazing fact is that this temple is completely made out of terracotta. And terracotta is a coarse and porous type of clay that was often used throughout Europe and Asia. Think for instance of the terracotta army and basically most of prehistoric art. 
I mean, that must have been so hard and so labor intensive just to make this. And next to the temple, you can actually find a little shrine called Mahadevi. Mahadevi is a... Sorry, a dog came past. Mahadevi is actually a shrine to the mother of the Buddha. The shrine is much more recent. It's not the same age as Mahabuddha temple itself. Now this is because in 1934 there was a massive earthquake and basically the Mahabuddha temple was was damaged quite a lot and because there was no no plans or no pictures or no drawings people didn't really know how to put the temple back together and once they put the temple back together like you can see it here today they just had too many stones and uh, they decided to make a shrine to the mother of Buddha, Maya Devi. <laughs> I try to take my friends and family to the Mahabuddha temple whenever I can, just because it is so beautiful and peaceful. It really is a hidden gem. Thank you for joining me here today at the Mahabuddha temple in Patan. I hope that I was able to convince you, um, whether you're Nepali or whether you're a tourist, to just come here and have a look and have a look at the many gorgeous shops here as well um, where you can definitely find the perfect gift for your family at home. See you next time.